Now, before we start getting into this, we're gonna take a step back, so to speak, and understand food's role, first from like a metabolic process, so the way we, we utilize or store food for energy. Anytime you guys eat, that food uh, takes a part in directing a process for how the fuel is either stored for later use or used as fuel immediately. That utilization and storage of fuel, it's a process called metabolism. You have a couple different fuel sources in your body. Your first most available fuel source for providing energy to your brain and your muscles is a molecule called glucose. Or what's commonly referred to as blood sugar. Right, so who here has ever seen somebody, uh, maybe like a diabetic, take their blood sugar level? Yeah, they're checking to see like, hey, is my blood sugar too high or, or too low? There's also some storage available for, for energy, uh, short-term storage in the form of glycogen. Which is stored in muscle tissue and it's also stored in your liver. And uh, it's kind of in the on-deck circle, so to speak. And then there are long-term energy stores in the form of adipose tissue or fat. Now, depending on what you eat, depending on when you eat, depending on how much you eat, and depending on the cell's energy status, it determines the fate of how this, or where this, uh, this energy is going to be stored. And this process is directed by hormones in the body. We're gonna talk about two major key players here that direct this process. And this is an overly simplified view of, uh, of metabolics, but nonetheless, it serves to illustrate our point. The, uh, the first hormone we're gonna talk about is insulin. Insulin is what we call a storage hormone. Who here has ever heard of insulin before? What did you hear it in reference to? Really like diabetes? Yeah, it's very common. That's, that's really the issue, and we'll talk about the, you know, how, how this plays into diabetes type 1 and, and type 2. Um, when, you, uh, when you consume food, especially when you consume carbohydrates, that fuel is, is immediately kind of broken down into simpler sugars. It's broken down into glucose. So imagine I eat something, it gets broken down, it enters my bloodstream, my, my blood sugar goes what, up or down? It goes up, okay? Now you've got a really unique process in the body. It really is a miracle of science. When your blood sugar gets too high, you're in auto-regulating systems. Your body wants homeostasis. It wants normalcy. So your brain signals to your pancreas, hey, there's too much blood sugar in the body. If it gets too high, that can be hazardous to our health. So it releases this hormone, insulin, from the pancreas to bring blood sugar down. Bring blood sugar down when it gets too high, and then it gets stored. 